Uh, thanks for being here. And this uh, was an incredibly difficult decision. Uh, without question, the hardest decision that I've had to make or be a part of during my time at the club. Uh, and that's for a number of reasons. Gio Savarisi is an incredible person. Uh, he's a great coach. And he's someone that has helped move this club forward. And he's had a tremendous amount of success with us. Those things make the decision you know, that much more difficult. I think there were a number of factors you know, for where we're at in this profession. Unfortunately, at times, there's a life cycle to where we are and what we do. Uh, and I do think at this time, it's best for the club to have a new voice. And the decision was made with the best interest of the club for both the short and the long term. Um, and obviously, for myself and from a lot of others, we wish Jill all the best moving forward. Okay, welcome to questions. Was this something that came up just after this loss on, on Sunday, or is it something that had been thought about for a while that maybe a change uh, would be needed? This decision was not made just because of a poor result in performance on the road this past weekend. Uh, there are a number of factors, um, you know, as I, I've alluded to, that have also led to this decision. And ultimately, I think sometimes in that position, which is probably the hardest one, um, there, there is a life cycle sometimes to, to what we do. And at this point, I believe it's important that there's new leadership and the club moves in a new direction and we continue our next evolution. Ned, obviously, um, you know, you and Gio have built a rapport over the years. What can you say about, you know, just his impact on the club and, and specifically, you know, the, the journeys to MLS Cup and, and, you know, the winning? Yeah. And I think back to why it's such a difficult decision is I've, I've had a great opportunity to strengthen and build my relationship with Gio, you know, over the past almost year now in, in my new role. Uh, and never a fault of his that he always gave, you know, all of his effort, all of his time and commitment with the thought process to do everything that he could, you know, to help push the club forward. Um, he's a great professional. Um, his reputation, you know, and what he's built will follow him. Um, and I do expect Gio to be coaching again at some point very soon on the sidelines somewhere. And there have been, you know, in the last year, a couple of situations where there have been public disagreements with players with Gio. Uh, did you feel at the end of his tenure that he maybe had lost at least part of the locker room's uh, attention or belief, potentially? I, I truly, I, I don't believe that loss is an accurate word or description. I really don't. I think that, you know, as I said previously, in that position, sometimes the hardest thing to do, you know, over the course of almost six seasons, when you look around the league, uh, he's accomplished, you know, a lot that most others haven't. And, and that time sometimes takes its toll as well, uh, which is also part of the reason why I believe it's the right moment now, you know, for, for us to focus on the future and try to move forward and identify what that new voice and next leadership looks like. How do you, how do you feel going forward looking at the team right now? Yeah, I think... You know, the, the decision was made because we still believe that there's something to achieve this year. Of course, without sugarcoating, you know, we've made that very challenging and very difficult. Um, I do think in this moment, you know, not seeing a way forward going into next year with Geo, it's a decision in this moment right now, quite honestly, probably has the right effect on both parties. And I think it also probably allows him to focus on what's next. Um, but this isn't waving the white flag. There's still something there for us to achieve uh, this season. I've had the chance to address the players this morning. I know other staff will have the chance to address players as well. They've heard that from me directly. Um, but we do need to see a reaction out of the players as well. Ten months ago, you guys offered him a contract extension. Just what changed between then and now in your estimation? Yeah, I think, you know, Looking at it over the course of, you know, back into last year and, and this year, 
I think through a collection of performances and results, you know, over the course of 60 games plus, you know, during that time, it just doesn't seem that we've been able to collectively, you know, get the team to move in the right way in the direction that we've, we've wanted to. You know, and I'll be the first one to say that I don't view this decision in the moment that we're in as a, a failure, you know, or a fault of one person. I, I don't see it that way. Um, you know, I think that there's a number of other factors that, that also led to this, you know, and what's best for the long term as well. Uh, but, but ultimately, we need to see a reaction uh, out of many others as well. What was your message to the players this morning? Yeah, the, the message was, you know, unfortunately in this business, and they're aware of this as well, you know, I've, I've sat in their seats, so I also understand that, you know, they're just learning this information from yesterday. Um, and they have to go back out and perform as professionals. It's not always the easiest thing to do. But at the same time, there's still a tremendous amount of belief in that group, uh, in other staff members, you know, the collective. Uh, but at the same time, I think some of the individual talent, you know, that we have has to add up and equal something. And I think ultimately as well, over the last year plus, we, we just haven't seen that, you know, equal what it needs to. Ned, um, Carlos Yamosa not out of training today. Are there other assistant coaches, him included, that will be departing the club with Gio, or what is the situation there? Yeah, so the, the club is not looking to make any other changes or remove any other staff members. I've had a chance to connect with every single staff member. Um, I had a very good conversation with Carlos this morning. I think Carlos obviously has a close relationship with Gio, as many do. Uh, and I think Carlos is struggling a bit. He's asked for a date or two to just process this and didn't feel that he was capable of going on the field, you know, and performing the duties that he needed to in the right state of mind. I think, you know, I'll be respectful of that without question. Um, you know, but he's asked for that time and I think he probably deserves it. So Ned, just to confirm, uh, Memo and Carlos stay with the club or is still a decision for them to be made on continuing or not with the club? Yeah, as I said, we're, we're not looking to make any other changes or remove any other staff. Um, I'd also further credit to Gio. I, th I think the staff that we've built, some of the people that he's helped bring in are incredible workers. They add a ton of value to the club. And so I, I feel comfortable with the staff that's in place to continue to perform the duties necessary to achieve what we want to. But there's still a window for them on their own personal lives to decide we don't want to continue. Yeah. That'd I, be possible. Yeah, I, but I can't speak to, right. to anyone's thoughts or feelings right now. All I can say is that I've had very good conversations with everyone, and I think everyone's been tremendously professional and respectful. And how are you feeling about the team right now, the roster, and the possibilities going forward this season? Yeah, I think you know my job and a big part of it is to continue to evaluate and reevaluate and have a pulse on you know where the roster and where the team is going long term. You know, and my professional opinion right now. I do believe we have adequate talent. I do believe we have a number of pieces, but probably for, you know, a number of reasons, for some reason it hasn't added up to better results and better performances in a more consistent fashion. You know, and we have to find a way to, to, to find that quickly without question. Players will be tasked with that. Staff will be tasked with that. You know, I have to continue to evaluate that moving forward. What led to uh, the decision for Miles? You know, what, what do you think he's going to bring different, you know, voice-wise to this team? Yeah, I think Miles is someone that has a, a ton of experience within MLS. Miles has worked at a number of different clubs with a number of different managers. You know, he's been able to be around a lot of intelligent people, see different ideas, and, and have a different thought process. So he's someone, I think, right now that in, in the short term is capable of helping, you know, steer the ship and, and move this in the right direction. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of other staff that will continue to support that as well. And ultimately, I think it's not just about one person here and one person there. It's about us coming together, you know, and trying to push forward. Ned, when does this, uh, this coaching search begin for you, and, and what do you hope to, to gain out of that process? Yeah, it begins immediately, and we'll have a clear identity as to what we need. And the next leader of the club, um, I do think that this – moment for us serves as a chance to reset, uh, but there will be clear, clear idea of what we want moving forward and we'll begin that process immediately. Uh, but at the same time, we'll, we'll take the time and the approach that's necessary to make such a big decision. So what's the profile of that coach that you're looking for or you start looking for? 
I think just given how fresh all this is, you know, at the moment right now, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that to myself and, and share that at some point to make sure it's understood exactly what it is that we're looking for. Um, you know, but, but right now, as, as I said, we'll, we'll just begin that process. Is Joe's contract fully guaranteed? It is. So you made a significant financial investment yesterday. Yeah, and look, when, you know, when decisions are made of this magnitude, and this was a decision of mine, but of course, you know, at this level, um, there has to be conversations and an understanding from ownership. There was. There was an alignment there. Uh, and there was also the support uh, that regardless of the, the contract situation, there was an understanding of the direction that we were going. And ultimately, um, as I said, there, there was an understanding of that. So the contract didn't have a termination clause wherein the, the club would pay less out of it. It was fully guaranteed, as, as she asked. Correct. Okay. They put in all those things together. I mean, uh, there's a number of reasons to take the decision, but you think uh, losing the locker room is not a word that you consider is uh, clear. Uh, you have a coach with a no so far extension on his contract. It looks like that is a project, right? Uh, when and who started to lose faith on that project? As I said, I think looking back at a number of things over a long course of time, the results aren't there to match. And the standards of this club need to be higher. Whether we're capable of doing that or not right now, that's remained to be seen. But we need to continue to evolve and improve as a club. I'm tasked with doing that. And I do think at this time, long term, a new voice is needed. Any last questions? No? Okay, we're going to wrap it up there. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You.